I did it! I won in the Vercel Hackathon. At the SHIP AI conference, Nico from Vercel got on stage to announce the hackathon winners. And my project landed in third place. Today I'll show you the project, how I built it and why judges thought this project is awesome. Let's dive in. The project is called Textual Games and, as you can see, whole UI is created in this 8-bit design using my 8-bit CN library and that is definitely one of the reasons why judges thought this project is awesome because when you see something like this, this is something that really doesn't exist on many web applications so it is really making it unique. And the key feature of this project is really simple. You are reading a book and at the same time you are the main character in that book and you are making different choices and based on that you are playing basically a game. So if we go to play now a new game we can choose here our genre. I'm always choosing fantasy like there is also sci-fi and dystopian but fantasy is my favorite for sure. So we can choose an orc. Let's choose an orc, why not? And we can name it something like, let's say, orc dev, something really simple. And we can have our fantasy item. So I'll choose here hammer. I'm always choosing an axe, so let's try a hammer. And we can choose our story. You can see really this unique design with 8BitCN. It's really looking different. And we can now choose something, let's say, maybe negotiating peace. We don't want to negotiate peace. Let's do some fighting or something like that so we can do let's see just this one leading army against invading force and now we can play our story so what is now happening in the background ai is creating our story based on our choices so we picked an orc with a hammer we know our story and we'll get like intro to our book and at the same time we'll get an image of our orc and there he is our orc is ready check out this awesome looking image it is this is not really 8-bit this is more like 16-bit but still it looks like retro and old school i love this kind of design i was working on this prompt a lot to make this picture perfect for this kind of project and we have an intro to our story. So I'm Orc Dev, a hulking orc warrior with rippling muscles beneath my scarred greenish gray skin. So we have everything that we need to begin our story and what is happening. So it all began when the human king greedy for a mineral rich mountain sent his legions to claim what is rightfully ours. So some humans of course are making some problems and we need to defend our clan. So I'll say, let's say just create defenses for our village something like this and now what is happening i'm sending that prompt to ai again and we'll stream here the result so now when this one you can see we are starting to receive the streaming from ai and we are continuing our story so we are playing our unique story right here and the awesome thing is there is no like censorship and things like that. You can play romantic stories, like the fights are really descriptive. It's really nice storytelling. You have to try it out to believe me. That is because it is using Grok AI and that one is really the best currently for storytelling, much better than OpenAI or any other. And we can see it from the game itself. So I'm not going to showcase you everything now. I just wanted to show you like, how does it look? So it feels like a book and it's like if you played those mud games, if you're a really old school gamer, you already know what this is. But this is even much more than old mud games because this is infinite. You can play your story like for like for 100 years. So let's see now what else do we have here. So we have my games. I have here all of my games that I started playing, we can see like this Minotaur and things like that. And like, you can see again, the image, it is really looking cool. And this is definitely like something unique. And again, like judges probably saw this and they thought like how cool this is, because this is something that it's not like a classic modern dashboard with chart or something like that. And we have here our profile. Again, check out the 8-bit mode, like this is really different. 
I love this and that's why I created 8BitCN library. And I want to show you one really awesome feature. Here you can select different themes. So we have, for example, Sega theme and check out now everything looks much different. If we go to our game to continue with our Minotaur right here, we can see that like when you are reading this, it, it has like much different vibe than it had before. And here also, Check out the my personal favorite is the Game Boy theme. Now this is something that like check out also the light mode and dark mode. This is looking really awesome. This is like the like 8-bit retro, like it cannot get more retro than this. And we have more like Atari theme. This one is also really nice. It looks different in light mode, especially. It brings back like those old vibes. I really love it. And you're probably interested in the tech stack behind this app. So let me show you. Let's start first from the infrastructure. So it is using Next.js. I updated to the latest 16.0.3 in this moment. Then we are using Drizzle as our ORM. We are using Neon as our database and everything is deployed to Vercel. Then for UI, we are using ShadCN and we are using 8BitCN. Now that one is not here in the package, but we can see that one in components.json. So here it is, 8BitCN is used for all those components. Using those with Tailwind, of course, and then we have authentication. So for that one, I'm using better auth. It's definitely the most flexible and best way to do authentication currently. And also we are using resend to send emails for all those like forgot password, reset password, welcome, and things like that. For AI, I'm using AI SDK by Vercel. Here it is version five, and it is definitely the easiest way to use AI models inside of your Next.js application. Currently, maybe somebody creates something better. And also with this one, I'm using AI Gateway. So that was one of the things that I had to do in order to apply to this hackathon, because this was like Vercel AI hackathon. I had to use AI Gateway. And finally, for payments, I'm using Polar. But that's now different because I promised if I win this hackathon, I'll open textual games for free and I already did it. So you can go now to texturalgames.com and play everything for free until all these credits from the hackathon are spent. So it's $500, I won $500 in AI credits and I'll give it all to you because I want to, like, this is my dream project. I bought this domain 10 years ago, texturalgames.com. I wanted to create it even before AI, but with AI, it was, of course, much easier for me to create some game like this because I can have, like, infinite levels and I don't have to think about some stories or anything. I can just, like, create the game and play as long as I want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about textual games or anything tech related, you can just write me in the comments. I'm answering to all the comments. Or if you want more info, you can come to the Discord channel. I'm always online. We have really nice community. So join the mighty horde. Subscribe.